Okay, I want to go over a problem that I felt is a real tough problem, and it's a it's a real thinking problem because it's not it's not real intuitive. It's not really the type of thing you can work your way through. Uh, you need to know, well, you can work your way through it a little bit, but you need to know quite a bit about hemoglobin and its oxygen binding behavior, etc. So let's get right into it. In engineering. For an engineered form of hemoglobin was constructed in which histidine F8 was replaced by glycine. Okay, so first thing I'm thinking, we're already changing an amino acid. Histidine's going to glycine. And, you know, that's going to be different because histidine's polar and glycine is not. Okay? And glycine is much smaller as well. Oxygen binding to the engineered hemoglobin was measured in the presence of free imidazole which is chemically the same as, hist as the histidine side chain. Would the protein exhibit the same oxygen binding behavior as normal hemoglobin? Explain. Okay. Well, what do we know about normal hemoglobin? We know that normal hemoglobin exhibits cooperative binding. That is, it's difficult to put the first oxygen on, but once that first oxygen binds, it induces a conformational change, which allows the next, which allows the next um, oxygen to bind easier. And then the next oxygen, that, that induces a conformational change, which makes the third oxygen even easier to bind. And by the time you get to the fourth oxygen, it's no problem to bind, okay? And we know that that's a sigmoidal curve, and that it binds when uh, the partial pressure of oxygen is high, and it releases oxygen when the, partial, when the pressure, partial pressure of oxygen is low. So when there's low oxygen, releases into the tissue, releases oxygen into the tissue where it's needed, and when there's high, oxygen um, pressure, it binds tightly, so places like the lungs. Okay, so with that said, would this protein exhibit the same oxygen binding behavior? Well, I actually kind of answered the question. The only real question is, what is this histidine F8 and what is its point? Okay, well, histidine F8 is part of the heme binding site and this is where it becomes important to know a little bit about the structure of hemoglobin is part of the heme binding site okay so histidine F8 is part of the heme binding site the imidazole okay they're saying they, they put this imidazole in there okay and that acts like histidine it could make it possible to still bind Fe2 plus and thus oxygen okay but think for a second about that while I write this down and you might come up with the reason why that that's not really all that useful so it could make it possible okay it can make it possible to still bind Fe2 plus and thus oxygen. Okay, so by adding the imidazole, we'd still be able to bind Fe2 plus, okay, and then we'd be able to bind oxygen. But that's not helpful, okay, and I gave you a couple seconds there to think about it. But the reason it's not helpful is that the imidazole is not attached to the protein chain, okay? It, it, it's not attached where it's supposed to be, okay? And it will, not, it will not move with the chain during the transition from T to R, okay? So when oxygen, what I'm saying right there, basically all I'm saying there is that when oxygen binds, it normally induces a conformational change. In this case, it's not going to because there's it's not binding to the actual hemoglobin chain. It's not binding to hemoglobin, to the uh, subunit. So the mutant hemoglobin will not exhibit cooperative binding. So it's not going to exhibit the cooperative binding that we would expect from hemoglobin for that reason. And that's what I'll say. So since the Okay, since the imidazole, if I could spell it right, so since the imidazole is not attached, since the imidazole is not attached 
to the protein chain to the protein chain it will not cause a conformational change okay it will not cause a conformational change when oxygen binds when oxygen binds so the mutant mutant hemoglobin will not exhibit cooperative binding okay so it will not exhibit cooperative binding let me get that on camera even though my handwriting is terrible I prefer you just listen to what I'm saying but just for, for the sake of making this somewhat complete histidine F8 is part of the heme binding site Ametazole could not make it possible to. Ametazole could make it possible to bind Fe2 and thus oxygen. Since the ametazole, though, is not attached to the protein, to the protein chain, it will not cause a conformational change when oxygen binds. So the mutant hemoglobin will not exhibit cooperative binding, and that's what's going to happen if we have this this change. If we change histidine F8 to glycine, and um, we just add in this ametazole to bind Fe2 and then bind oxygen, it's, it's just not going to bind to hemoglobin. So there's going to be no conformational change, no oxygen binding, and no cooperativity. Okay?